In this video, we will be studying about the causes of increasing and decreasing retentive factors. We have discussed earlier that your total product in keeps on increasing, first at the increasing rate, then at the decreasing rate, and then it starts decreasing. Right? So what is the uh, what are the causes that affect the increasing and decreasing of returns to a factor? Number one, we will take the increasing return to factors. So, number one is your fuller utilization of fixed factors. See, in the initial stages, fixed factors, you can say uh, like machine, remains underutilized. So, its fuller utilization calls for greater application of the variable factors that you need to combine variable factors to the fixed factor. Hence, initially, additional units of the variable factor add more and more to the total output or the marginal product of the variable factor tends to increase. As more and more of variable factors combine to the fixed factor, it will be fully utilized. So, till the fixed factor is fully utilized, your return to factors are increasing. That is, the total product increases. Secondary causes increased efficiency. of variable factor see as more and more of labor you will combine with the fixed factors let's say machine your variable factors efficiency will also increase right your margin increase thus increasing your marginal product third is your better coordination between the factors so there will be a proper coordination between your fixed and variable factor right so as long as fixed factors remains underutilized your machines are not fully utilized so you can ask more and more variable factor and labor to come and coordinate with your machines that is your fixed factor so there will be a better coordination between your factors and thus it will help you in getting the increasing return to factors. The next we have is why the total product starts decreasing. Why? What are the reasons behind your decreasing return to factors? Number one is fixity of the factors. Fixity of the factors is the principal causes that explains the occurrence of the law of diminishing return. As more and more units of the variable factor continue to be combined with the fixed factor, the later gets overutilized, which means your fixed factor gets overutilized. See, fixity of the factor. You do not change your factor. You keep on changing your variable factor. You do not change your fixed factor in the short run. So as you will combine more and more of your variable factor to the fixed factor, your fixed factor will be overutilized and it will be overutilized to the extent it has the capability of being overutilized. After that, what it will do? It will be, it won't be utilized properly. So this will cause your decreasing return to factors. Second is your imperfect factor substitutability what we think is for more and more of production we need a raw material right but with raw material we need the uh, capital we need the land we need more machines so here Raw material cannot be completely substituted by your 
fixed factors right you cannot substitute your raw material for your fixed factors so it is imperfect factor substitu uh, sustainability so you cannot substitute your variable factors for your fixed factors all the time so at some point of time you will be getting a decreasing return to factors third part is poor coordination between the factors see if your fixed factors are over utilized if you and at some point of time you do not have your fixed factor enough of fixed factors so that can fulfill your you know variable factors need so there will be a poor coordination between the factors so with this we complete your causes that are for your increasing and diminishing return return to scale please download our scholar learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us